This game deals with heavy subjects such as abuse, self-harm, depression, and suicide. It also contains many scares in the form of visual glitches and the occasional jump scare. If you are not comfortable with this, do not watch this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is Stardev94, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, a lot of shit went down, ranging from Yuri's death, to Monica's talk, to her eventual deletion. And now, let's see how the club will fare without her. Let's do this. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. Well, that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We always walk to school every day, and recently we just picked up the habit over again. And for what, you know? Wait up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. But you never even say anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not! I start to say what I always do, then I'm not interested, but something tell tells me Sayori would take offense to that now. After all, she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I'll keep you the surprise. Boo! You mini. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I'd get lectured by a carefree girl, but but I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. Clubs, clubs. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Before long, I find a room. I finally open the door in front of me. Hello? S star Dev? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Star Dev that Sayori's always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Star Dev. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Sorry, Natsuki! The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki seems pretty confident. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. What, working? Stardev, don't tell me. You're... That's right. I decide to join yours, Sayori, the Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. 
No way! No way! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an, an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used for the ears. So cute! Wow, these look amazing! <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sari talks with her mouthful and has managed to get icing all over her face. I turn the cupcake around. Natsuki is suddenly quiet. I can't help but notice the sneaking glances at me. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. This is really good. Thanks, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept a compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea op help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I g guess. Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? It, that's not insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might be a pastime for me. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So Stardust, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't have a good answer. Manga. I quietly mutter to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems was so reserved and timid the moment I walked in. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that, that we have in common. Hey Yuri, uh? Well, about you know, the first thing he said, manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So his started wants to read some of my manga, but don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki! I would not do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. 
he can take the opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree? M maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. It can be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean... That's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something. Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it. Then as for Yuri... I, I have to read manga? Jeez! You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I... I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests. If you're interested, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? N no. I've realized my error, so if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something good that you'll really like. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore. J just you. Uh, uh. Would you like to come along with me? Um. If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Y yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Y yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki, Yuri start to clean up the food. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It makes me... It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Stardev. Oh geez, Sayori, you really think that? Y you think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Starda, don't say something like that. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're putting it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Stardev, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to join. There's actually something else. Oh boy, this can't be good. That's right. I know everything that she did. What in the... What in the hell are you doing, Sayori? Stop this right now! But I really know everything, Stardev. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things Monica did to me. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. No, 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 no. No. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Sayori, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stop this. Forever and ever. Come on, Sayori. Let I don't want to go through this again. Wait a minute. Now what's going on? Is Monica somehow coming back to save me?
So I guess this really is the end of the literature club after all. I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah! Well, I guess that's the end. Now it's time for the credits. This is my final goodbye to the Litter Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For making a f friend in all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. So... It has finally ended, hasn't it? No more Literature Club? 
No more Sayori, no more Yuri, no more Natsuki, no more Monica, no more anything. I'm actually kind of sad about this. I'll definitely miss those Dokis, but they'll all live on within my heart and mind. Still, this was quite a wild ride, and I want to thank each and every one of you who have been sticking with me since the first part of this playthrough. I enjoyed this game from start to finish. With all that said, I will see you all later. This is StarDev94 signing out.